Hey lads, welcome back to another game of chess. Today we are at 1666 ELO and we are playing someone 1692 from the UK, Headgash. I'm going to play the London opening again. Oh, I guess they aborted. Let's let's go for another one here. I'm going to play the London again against somebody from India and I think I'm going to try play the Jabava London again. Because this is the this is the one I've been focusing on, and early game you want to go for this this square, and so that's sort of what I was doing here. But this move here has blocked me, um, so now I will get this sort of pyramid structure going here. There's usually this sort of pyramid shape, and I will develop my knights here. Now this is kind of positional chess, and you want to sort of control the middle of the board, so. You want to you wanna, um, try win some pawns here. So he's attacking my pawn here. Now, before I used to think that this move didn't work because of a check. But actually, if we move here and he checks, we can move the pawn up and the queen protects the knight. Which I didn't actually see before. Uh, and this allows us to play our pyramid shape here. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good shape, but that's what we're going for. Okay, we can get our knight in here. That's the only square available to us. So that's what I'm going to go for. And maybe he takes here. So we might see a, a, a trade here. But that would give me such a good spot for my bishop. Like nothing's going to kick this bishop if, if he does trade here. So we would take back. And then we would capture the bishop. And be stopping the king from castling essentially. Really nice square. I'm actually looking at this as well. This looks really nice. I think my position's fairly strong here. Now he's thinking of trading here. And when I recapture, he's going to recapture the pawn. So I can't bring my bishop in. Is there another way I can I can attack this? I can bring this pawn up. I think I'm going to do this. Bringing the pawn up, and then he takes. So we take with pawn, and then we have this square for the bishop still. Is there any other way that I can support this? I don't want to waste too much time, but I do think this looks like an okay move. If he comes here, we can just we can come here. So here. Take, take, yeah. And we're protecting our rook with our queen, so that's not going to be hanging. This is called an outposted knight. No pawns can attack this knight. Um, so it's a very strong piece right now in my position. If he takes, we take. If he pushes, we will look to develop our other pieces. Probably get our bishop here, attack his, and try to open up the middle here. Yeah, although I think he's going to come here. We may have to just trade off, but... Let's go for this. We'll take with queen if he if he captures here. I think we'll take with queen. I think it makes sense to take with queen. Because then we... Yeah, yeah. Taking with queen. And if he doesn't take, we'll just capture his bishop. Because his white bishop is, is in... It's outside of his pawn. So it's, it's pretty nice here. Yeah, he really wants this piece. Well, that's fine. I think I'm just going to open up his position here. So now we have an in. Maybe we come here, or do we castle first? Coming here creates a threat on his pawn. So I think I want to go for that. Now, he may just take here. If he does, we 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 can capture and hit his queen. Now, what I want to do is I want to make a break in the center, but I need a, a rook to back it up. So we're going to castle here. And I think this is a great opportunity to castle. But I need to make sure I'm not getting my bishop trapped. Because if he comes up... And I go back, and then he comes here. My bishop will be trapped. But if he comes up, we can just take. So I think we're fine. Okay, it looks like he wants to castle. Let's get our rook on e1. And let's get ready to push some stuff here. I think I want to push my f pawn as well. Because if I push right now, he forks me. And both of my pieces are in danger. So let's look to see if we can move this knight in. Get this knight further in. If we come here... This is a very nice square for us. And if he trades, we just take with the bishop. And then that allows us to push the f-pawn. And the f-pawn will support the e-pawn. And then we can we can bust in with these rooks on the back here and just go to town on his position. Now, so far, there hasn't been a single piece traded. Now, I think I'm going to take with bishop. This is the first piece that's been captured in the entire game. Uh, if I take with pawn... Then he wins a pawn here. So I'm going to take with bishop. And now I think his position is going to start crumbling. Because we're going to go with the f pawn. 
the e pawn, and if he takes, we take, and stuff starts looking pretty good. Okay, I think he's made a mistake here. He was defending this square, so now I can come in with this knight. If I come knight d7, and he takes me here, I take him here, he takes me here, I take him here, he takes me, I take him, he takes me, and he's left with a rook and a bishop, and I'm left with, what am I left with? Wait, hold up. He takes this one, this one, this one. I'm left with a rook. Wait, wait, wait. Because he goes first. Yes, because he goes first. So that's no good. But this looks really nice. And we can defend this if we just pull our bishop back. Maybe we pull our bishop back to here. Keep our bishop alive. And go for this square if he misses it. He doesn't miss it. But now we can kick his knight. And we can push with the pawn. And then our rook will be hitting this bishop here. Okay, so he comes back. He's got three defenders of this square. And I'll have one, two, three attackers. But if I go first, I have three defenders. And he ha he only has three attackers. So I'll actually win. So here, 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 here. But then he wins with the, with the knight, which we don't want. So one thing we can do is we could trade off this piece. I think that's what I'll do. Trade off this defender. And then my rook is is um, able to, to win this. I'm going to trade. And he's going to take. He took, with, he took with the king. This looks so good. All right, let's get in here. We actually can just push the pawn. Do we want to push the pawn or do we want to open up the position? We could take this pawn. Or we could just push. Pushing means he's going to probably go back. I think I want to open the position, honestly. I think taking the pawn, this pawn looks good, because then it gives an open open rook here. Take here, and, and then if he recaptures, we have a pass protected pawn. Okay, so he took with the rook, which makes sense. Now, what if I get my queen on this file? Coming here, he can't do. Coming here, he, he can't do. Coming here, he can't. I mean, we can just take, take, you know, take, and we have the pawn protecting. So I think... We come here. What if we go here and then let's say he does something random. We come here. If they take, we we take with check maybe. It's not it's not winning yet. I think I need to get my other rook into the position. What about this move though? Take and queen here. It looks kind of nice. I think I'll get my rook here so that I can double it up. That's the first step. Okay, so he wants to come here. Let's double up. I don't think that's bad. And we need to we need to spot his mistakes here. His king seems kind of in a bad spot. Yeah, he's moving it. Okay, um what can we do here? Here, here, no. It, well, if we push the pawn, he's just gonna take it. Um if we push this pawn, he takes I feel like this is a better square for our queen. Uh, and if he pushes, if we go here and he pushes, we take, he takes then this rook is more active. I don't think I want to do that yet. What about pushing this pawn and then getting in on the position? Maybe. I also can just come here. If I come here and uh, I, you know, he can't he can't get onto this open file. I don't think it's bad. We can also just come here and if he trades, we take the rook and we have a rook here and that looks fun. But I'm just not I'm not seeing any one move that is. This is very decisive here. Maybe I should try to get my... I don't want to just let his piece become more active than mine, though. I think I'm going to go for this. And if he pushes his pawn, we just move up one more. And then we get the queen in here. This is totally fine. This is all closed down. Now we come in here. Oh, I thought we did. Okay. Did he just lose? <laughs> He just lost. He just lost the whole piece. Okay, now we need to win this game. I don't know why he did that. That was a big time blunder. GG. We won. Okay, I don't know if we um if we played completely accurately, but let's just check here. Oh, I need to get rid of this snow. There we go. No more snow. Okay, we played at 81.7. And um, we didn't have any blunders, but we did have three misses. 
We played it in 1850, and our opponent played it at 1500. Let's just go through it real quick and see. Um, so this is all fairly standard. And I want to see what our first miss was. This actually was the best move, because when he comes here, we just play the pawn up, um, and uh, we're doing okay. So now we can outpost, which is what we did. So we're playing really good moves here. Um, this move wasn't the best, though. Now, why was that not the best? I mean, it's a good move, but um, what other way can we can we stop him winning a pawn here? I don't see any other way. So, um, what was the best move? Attacking his other pawn. So, if he takes, we take. What if he? What if he just takes here? And then d takes c5, and then queen takes c5, and then a takes b5. Then I'm assuming he just takes here. Oh, uh, we have a bishop defending. I'm not even looking. So what if he goes here, takes here, and then we have knight d4. Yeah, knight d4. And our position looks pretty solid. Attacking this pawn twice, so he's going to try to defend it. So here, and then here, and then knight takes b5. We could just take it, because he can't take here because of this. Interesting. Okay, um, so we did, um, we, we had some more tactics there. I'm going to be looking for this um, pawn push in the future. Um, but the move we played wasn't bad. Um, so here, we could have, I'm guessing it wants us just to take this pawn. No? Okay. So a4 is good, and the reason for this, what if they take here, then we then we take this way, which is interesting. What if we take the other way? Yeah, the other way is not as strong, so we take this way, and queen goes b7, and then a takes b5, and a takes b4, and a takes a8, and a8, and then c takes b4. So this looks pretty good. And then if they take here, we have a check. So we have this pawn majority. Um, I think in the future, if I play this system, which I'm going to probably be doing, is I need to just look for stuff on this uh, on these on this side of the board with the pawn moves. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for this stuff because this is this is interesting. Um, a bishop up was a mistake. Not entirely sure why. Uh, they still want us to go for this. That's why. Okay. Tick, tick. And queen uh, was not our best. There was still wanting us to go for this idea. <laughs> okay, we castle. And we had uh, we had a, an opportunity to punish them. And I'm guessing it was, was it something to do with taking here? Tick, tick, maybe? I don't know. No, it's still this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I just really wanted that. Um, okay, taking with the pawn was better. So if we take with pawn, and he takes here, then we take here, and he has to take here, and then we win a piece. Yeah, so that would, that would have been good to calculate. We just didn't calculate it in the game. Anyway, we... Um, We go for the pawn break. And it wants us to push here? I don't think so. No, it wants us to take this pawn. Um, wh I wasn't... Uh, wh what is our best here? F takes E4. Yeah, okay, but what, what is our best move? So, uh, we should have pulled the queen back. Interesting, but then if they take, then we have H6. And what if they go rook here? And we have f takes e4. And we're just coming for this king now. This is an interesting idea. Sort of just ignoring all the tension in the middle and going for this, this weak pawn on the side. And then uh, and then taking this pawn would, would allow our rooks to get in. I I don't know how I would have calculated all that in the game, but um, I, I do find it interesting. There's definitely ways to calculate this stuff. I need to... Maybe not go for just these obvious moves. So the, the move here was just to drop back to, to D2 and get on this long diagonal here. And let's say he goes here. Then we have E takes F5. And then we have 
it says E8 here, but also if they just take this, we come in here and we win a pawn. And if they take with the king, then we have rook E5 with check. And king has to go F6. And then we have, it says rook um, to E1, AE1. But what about queen here? Is this a mistake? King goes G7. And then we have um, E3. Yeah, so that that's just like a... A one move threat which doesn't do anything for us so better to just prepare the rooks and then go f go for the kill okay interesting um so we take take it doesn't want us to do this either the best move was just to get the queen on the diagonal first or on the, on the open line first which i had thought about but i didn't go for i thought maybe i should just get my rooks there first my last mistake here it's just to push with the pawns. Yeah, I should do a pawn storm on this side, and that would create threats. But um, he blunders, so we take, and we can just win a piece, which I don't know why he did that. Maybe he was stressed. I don't know. He had a lot more time than I did. So anyway, guys, we beat it at mid-1600. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was just a Jabava London system, and um, I'm probably going to be playing this system more in the future and trying to improve upon some of those things that I just sort of, yeah, I, I didn't really calculate, I didn't really look into, although I only had a couple minutes left. So I think my time usage this game was a lot better. And um, yeah, it's just something I gotta, I gotta keep an eye out on like this uh, A4 idea or um, necessarily, I don't have to just protect that one pawn. You know, I can create threats somewhere else. Um, so looking for that kind of stuff could have led to a really exciting game. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow. All the best.